Hey y'all, Carol Norby here. You're on my Stamp and Carol Lots of Crafty Goodness page, or you're on my YouTube channel. I had a heck of a time deciding what I wanted to make today. I was on Pinterest Monday, yesterday, not this morning. I finally made a decision this morning and have been busting my buns prepping for it. <laughs> this today I am showing uh, a bridge card. Now I've, I've taught this in my monthly class, oh gosh, it's at least a year ago, probably a year ago, January. Uh, it's a cool card and today it's a Christmas card. So anyway, I'll flip the phone over and we'll get started. There we go. Okay, get down to where I am. Pretty fair. Ignore this. This is a card I'll be showing Friday. Um, I'll be doing a live Friday, uh, making the cards for my class for those that can't come, that have ordered kits. So anyway, a bridge card. So I'm starting with my basic. This piece is four and a quarter by eight. That's important. By eight. I have scored at one and a quarter, two and a half, looking at my directions here five and a quarter and six and three quarter inches so so it's going to do this just like that and then I cut a second piece and this this actually can vary in in width but not in length so this is five and a five and a half and this is one and a half so that is my base card I will um I will probably put pictures on my blog tomorrow of the actual directions that I shared when I made this. So now I need to decorate the card. So I'm going to set this piece aside and I cut a piece of paper from a Fun Stamper's Journey Christmas paper pack a while back. This one is called, oh where did it go? <laughs> I have no idea. That's the way it's been today. I've just kind of been a little... There it is. I don't think I slept well last night. I have a backache, and I do not feel rested in the least. Okay, it came from a pack called Christmas Cheer Prints. So I cut these. These. This, is, um, this whole piece is four inches width. See if I can get this, make sure I'm up here in your in four inches. This is one inch, one inch. This is two and three. This is two and three quarter inches, one inch, one inch. So these are going to go on here. So I will get them assembled. So, ah, uh, my tape is rolling around the roller instead of coming off on my ah don't you just love it when things come apart <laughs> so I just gotta get those back on there ah that happens once in a while I don't have that problem too often but once in a while there it goes the the tape had sometimes the tape wants to roll around this roller instead of coming to this one where I can use it so that does happen okay so and you can do multi layers too I mean you don't you can this has got a quarter inch difference in size you can you can do two layers two extra layers you just have to adjust and most of uh, most of my customers are very good at that okay I want to make sure I'm in the right spot There we go. So, get all these on. This is probably going to be the most time consuming because this is the only thing I could not put together prior to my video because I needed to show you my score lines. And this will be on my Stampin' Carol site tomorrow with links to what you can purchase. And uh, 
and I'll have the completed picture tomorrow. But I, I might be able to complete this today. I don't know. Like I said, I am just really, really tired. We've had a lot of smoke uh, the past week from fires in California. It's done a number on my allergies. It's really weird when you can walk outside and it smells like a campfire. Okay, so there's that piece. So then I have my bridge. and I'm going to adhere this at the bottom here. Now years ago, when I last year when I made it, I just used tape and I was not thrilled with that. So uh, it kept coming apart. So I'm just going to that out and make sure that I get this right where I want it. Okay. I love this glue. It does a really wonderful job of adhering. Get that on there nice and straight. Make sure it's nice and straight. So give it a moment to really get that stuck. And then I'll come here to this other side. So basically I'm just going to put my glue right here and just stick that down. Ah. There, just like that. And then I get to finish decorating. Make sure it's, and, and this will mail flat like this or like this. You just got to pay attention what you're doing. So I thought, since I chose that paper, I decided to make a couple of Christmas images. Aren't these cute? See all that glitter? This is just regular, the silver is regular glitter paper that I've received as a gift two years ago. Um, this paper is, is from a specialty pack from Fun Stamper's Journey. It is called, it's from the uh, Sparkle Trio paper. I've used a lot of it. I really like that. I really like that paper. So I did that. And then this, this is really cool. I used, if you look at all my size, I used... Elegant Twist Squares. It was funny, as I was cutting, I taped my die down on my white, and it still moved. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, well. So I did that, and I used the Merry Christmas from To You and Yours from Spellbinders. This is Clear poly Photopolymer Stamps. Now, I have not been a big fan of clear stamps, but I, I am doing really good with them. Usually I have a really terrible image, but I'm learning them. I found out for me, it's best that I use one of my stamp positioners. That helps a lot. And don't press real hard. If if I need to, ink it and, and stamp it again. But I learned my, a lot of my issue with stamping too, you know, using too much pressure. Because I'm used to rubber, uh, the red rubber. These are my two, <clears throat> excuse me, <coughs> two die sets, Snowman and Santa. I do not know if they're still available. I'll have to look. These are just small ones. I've used I've used them a lot. <laughs> they are great. I I like them. So that's what I did there. Now, when you do do um this kind of a card, it's really hard to pop things up on the inside, so don't. You just it will just not lay flat. So I'm going to stick this in there. Get this in. I just have to laugh that it did not die cut <laughs> evenly. I have that issue sometimes. So there's that. So then I thought, I'm going to put him here and him here. Isn't that cute? Now, I don't know what I'm going to put in the middle other than maybe some embellishments. Nothing, you know, because these images are so large. So I think... I'll come up with something um, probably on tomorrow's photo. You can pop these, but it's not. I, I don't think I will. I'm just going to adhere them on. Kind of 
kind of like that. I don't want to go off the edge too much because that will mess with my envelope. And I did assemble these using Fun Stampers Journey craft glue because it does stick pretty decently on the uh, the glitter paper and stuff. So I'm going to stick him right about here. And there we go. This card will stand up. You can see the shape of it right there. So isn't that cute? So all I have left to do is maybe some embellishments here. I'm going to go through what I have and see what I can use. I'm also thinking of possibly using uh, Fun Stamper's Journey Glaze on the cranberries, maybe on the eyes, these eyes. I might use them on Santa's eyes as embellishments, but I'll come up with something. So anyway, I'll flip the phone back over. There we go. So that's it. So I got a feeling a nap might be in the works this afternoon, or at least sit down. I do have two more Halloween cards to complete before my class on Friday. <sighs> it's coming up fast. I have all my kits made and a couple extras. I max it out at 12 kits, and I think I have eight gals coming, and that includes two kits. So six gals coming to the class plus two kits, plus I have two more. So I'll have some available for sale there. Um, I'm having a great time. I'm so glad we're meeting again together. I've had some gals that were just so glad to see people. It was wonderful. And if you are coming to my class Friday, I have my list down. I want to remind you that, you know, we're, we're thinking of we can go out to lunch afterwards. So, And then I'll come home and do the class again on video. So you can come by Friday. It probably won't, I won't do my video till closer to two. And I will get it put on YouTube. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I uh, hope there's no smoke in your area. If you're in the areas where uh, Hurricane Laura is, I pray for your safety. And those near the fires in California, I pray for your safety too. We have kids in California and they're having a lot of smoke where they're at. So anyway, God bless you and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.